we're not going to allow the Drake slander at a time like this. We are not going to allow the Drake slander at a time like okay, this. Okay, fair, fair. I'll pause on all Drake slander for like the next six months since you dropped the Fire album. We just received album of the year again from, from the LeBron of rap, if you will. It's crazy how it always switches up. In the beginning, everyone's like, yeah, no, this shit is repetitive. This shit is, is donkey booty. He's not even trying for real. He's using the same beat since 2008. And now he's the GOAT again? Uh, I'm not going to lie. I like the album. It's very derivative, and I hate that song with SZA, the, the one that they released first. I, it's really bad. January was a time find that you lied. Is that SZA's part? No, that's uh, Drake's part. Maybe we're talking about a different song. No lie. Not no. the one with Sexy Red. No, no, no. Bang your ass on Whip you like American slave. It was unnecessary. Yeah, that was the song, yeah. That shit was <laughs> unnecessary. Whip you in chain like American slave. And it was not, that's a hard bar. Is that not a hard bar? And this is why uh, African Americans need less. This is why. <laughs> No, it's not. It is a terrible bar because it was unnecessary. What did it add to the song? Yeah, nothing. fair enough, fair enough. It was talking about how in the relationship they were just held down to each other and it was the worst of each part. And? Yeah. And for him, dating people is kind of like, you know what, let me stop it there. But yeah. He's Canadian. That's my, that's my whole that's my whole everything. Stay on your side. Y'all y'all have some shit up there, right? Why are you talking about us? <laughs> no, I feel that. I feel that. I feel that. Honestly, honestly, my main takeaway he could do this for 10 more years. Ah, relax, relax, relax. Rel <laughs> you don't think he got a decade left? Drake starts graying and he's still talking about Shorty's not wanting to fall okay, in love okay, and all the rest okay. of the stuff. Like, okay, let's, I think relax. we need to, I need to, I think we need to all come together and recognize what do y'all expect from him? What, what do, you do you, what do you expect him to four, talk four, four. about? But there's different vibes. I expect 444 four, four because everybody can grow up. Everybody gets older. I, Everybody drops a different version of themselves because they've experienced and are expecting to experience different things in life. But here is the thing about Drake. Be, okay, when I think of Drake, I think of a dude. Can we just put a pause on this? We had this conversation last album. COB, we had this exact same conversation. Okay. Nothing is different. We've been asking for But it. that's the thing. He's one of those type of people that's like, Edged out in a moment, and that moment just lives on forever. And see, now you're completely fucking lying. You're like, you're just making shit up. What do you mean? Up. You're the trying to tell me that Drake is limited to what he can do because of what, like, he's only just recreating when he came out. That's what you just said. No, no, no. It's, it's more on the, the sense of if he's not living this lifestyle, it doesn't feel like Drake. You feel me? <laughs> We got extra mics. What do you mean? Okay, okay. He sounds like a 20-year-old fever dream of what being ultra rich feels like. If he varies away from being able to fuck anybody, buy anything, uh, be anywhere he wants to be, do anything he wants to do, it doesn't hit the same. No. What? What do you mean? You're acting like he hasn't made multiple other genres of music in in this career that you're you're quoting. I mean, the other genres they kind of turn into just like party mixes. It's not really. Is, was that song successful? Yes or no? Was One Dance his biggest song? Yes or no? And it was. A Answer the question. Yes, yes, that has so a multiple has billions done of views. Other things. What does One Dance have to do with like? You know what I'm saying? He makes the hits, and then there's Drake shit. There's those are two separate things. You enjoy the hits? What are you saying? You enjoy the hits more than when he's like really in his bag, in his diary rap bag. So you come back to one dance repeatedly. It's not about one dance specifically. Or like, it's about the hits from literally oh, any of the albums. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's the one thing? Oh my God, in the music video, he was walking around giving motherfuckers toys and gifts and money. No, I actually, I listen to Diplomatic Immunity, but I... With see the better Drake, but continue. You're talking about the 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 smash hits. Okay, okay. Those songs were meant for the most wide appeal. I'm talking about jumbotron shit popping and fucking okay. Uh, uh mob but ties and stuff like that. Uh, jumbo jumbo street popping, jumbotron popping, jump beyond the points, beyond the points. It's literally like, did you watch the music video? 
it was who does that it was you don't watch music videos it's the 21st century we are so, in 2023 so still we're watching music we're tell you're telling me you don't put the music videos on at a party and just like sit and who's or, putting on music videos at a party if it's not cole bennett why is it on in the first place and who's playing music videos at a party you should be playing music and then talking to people ah, see i guess he's not a young boy fan but you know that's a, that's another thing that's another conversation for another day but but in the, the same Jumb jumbotron song it's literally a 72 hours of drake's life and it's just one big party doing random stuff with hella bitches hella bottles all that and that's the essence Back to Drake needing to grow the fuck up. All right. Okay. He needs to give me a four for four. Not me specifically. The fans. Okay. I'm, I'm speaking as the 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 president of the uh, fan club of Drake. Pretend like I didn't stutter through that. Uh, <laughs> so, I just want a more mature album. I'm not talking about talking about some shit that you're not doing. Talk about the shit you're doing, my nigga. You're 35. Like, there's no way you're still doing all that shit. A lot of it, yeah, sure. Why not? Vacations, all the rest of the shit. You got kids and shit. What what? You got them on the weekends, you taking vacations during the week and working, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's not uh, impossible, but like, you're doing different stuff. Be serious. I guess, I guess. We have a child. You literally can't live your life the same. Literally. You have to feed that nigga. Like, you can't just be doing the fair, same shit. Fair, fair. You can't just not talk to your kid for, for long periods of time. That's fair, that's fair. But like I was saying earlier, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't vibe with this fan base. I don't think this fan base is looking for it. What would make you say that? What specific example do you have that, that people want to know less about Drake? The specific example, one of my homies is a, is a Drake sexual, as in he knows every Drake song. He was the one that he stayed up till, when did he drop it? Like three in the morning or some crazy like that? Yeah. He stayed up for it. Yeah. And he, he's not a streamer. He he's not making content. He okay. just likes the content just for itself, right? Okay. And he said, I felt truly in my light skin bag i felt like these hoes don't actually love me for real and i just needed drizzy to remind me of that and i feel like he's a embodiment of the average drake fan and then is it what drake said or is it that drake said it because i think it's that drake said it that's what my whole point is you know what i don't think it matters you what know, drake says you know what i think i think you're onto something that's because that if drake started talking about popping perks at 35 Niggas go start probably perks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's fair. That's so, fair. an idea that I was thinking about recently: um, rap is so heavily, so heavily, um, not just invested, but dependent on an artist's delivery of the way that they make music, right? So, there's this meme that was going around about battle what? rappers. No, nah, you gotta break that down. Okay. Um, what makes a rapper good is how they deliver the the bars. Like their cadence and flow. Cadence, okay. flow, and persona, right? There's a, there was a meme that was going around about a lot of battle rappers, and they're like, bro, these battle rappers need to give that shit up. They're old. The shit is ass. And then one of the, one of the bars they were saying was, <clears throat> I got the Iron Man because of I will cap you in America. And the motherfucker was like, oh, that shit is ass. Put that shit away. And I was thinking about it. That's a hard bar. Not for rap battle. <laughs> really? That's this shit hard? Not for rap battle. That shit is different. So you tell me if Drake said that, you'd be like, oh, yeah, no, he's on to something. Like, he did just say you and me. Um, I, It's you and me like. Oh, fuck. Damn. I'm going to hit you with some con bars. Okay. This is this is what Casita said to this man in his battle. Okay. He said something about your girl, I undertake her. Nothing big shows from any angle that John Cena. His this, The dude's name was John. Nothing big shows from any angle. You could even say angle is Kurt Angle. That John Cena, stop playing with these. Like, it's different. Every Damn, word, is. there's no wasted words. That's why Eminem is special to me. Okay, there's no okay. wasted bars. Like, mm -hmm. nothing nothing is wasted. And that's that's kind of like the point that I'm trying to get at. They're the Native like, Americans of rappers. Continue. <laughs> they don't waste shit. They don't waste nothing. Native Americans are rappers. Continue. <laughs> Oh God! Wear it as a coat. Use it as a spoon. And it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no. That's really got me thinking. Is Drake really that good, or is it just he's been good for so long? The motherfuckers are like, yeah, no. Whatever he's gonna put out, I'm gonna love it because it's my man's. I will say that Drake's voice does play a large part in it. You're not entirely wrong in that. 
Like, uh, I know we talked about it, I think, last part. Mm. They put out that AI song, and everybody was like, like that's kind of fire. I'll watch it. Oh, God. Oh it's, God. it's literally the voice. So that's why I don't think it really matters if he wants to come out and be like, I got a kid now. I'm raising him. Uh, he shot on my carpet. You know? Like, <laughs> give me these give me these stories. Real quick. Did you fuck with, uh, what's his name? What's his kid's, what's that child's name? Adonis. Adon- See, that's a great name. That's a, he's going to do great things in life. With a, with, a, with a name like Adonis, but that's another. That's a whole another. Very old Greek name, yeah. But. Exactly, it's beautiful. But oh, how did you feel about his bars? Adonis sound like a lick. I, I'm trying to be Adonis's <laughs> friend. Said so, you can say whatever. I fuck with you, gang. I, I will. Thank you. <laughs> fuck. You know what? When I first heard that, I, I haven't been in such shock because <laughs> I was playing. I was playing it right. Turn that shit all the way up. And then I know where he come. I was gonna download the song until he came on, and yeah. I'm kind of upset that I'm not able to download the song anymore. I have two points with that. One, why is every song on this album a double song? I don't get why that's a thing. And two, <laughs> did they give him the most trash beat that they could find? Because I know y'all had something else. Yeah, y'all could have gave him some basic boom bap with no so- just boom. Bah, boom, boom, boom. Oh. Yeah, I had to give him the most ass shit y'all could find. <laughs> a regular 808 would do, but no. Oh God, no. That's actually a great. That's that's something I was noticing too. Did it detract from your listening experience? Oh, all the double songs and stuff. Yeah. So to me, yes, because that 21 Savage song I might like as its own. Mm-hmm. I just hate that it's on the end of that Jersey Club song. Because I really like that Jersey Club song, mm-hmm. but it's just I don't. I just want that. Like, I don't want 21, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have to skip it every single every time. Every single... Yes, bro. I, I totally feel that. Are we coming to the... You know what? Are you a 21 fan? Oh, I always have been. The first time I got some head, I was listening to 21. So, I think he's going, like, for the rest of my life, just be a part of it. Chris Rock once said, whoever you was listening to when you started fucking, that, they just go be... That's what you go like for the rest of your life. And I think that's genuinely, like... You hear how much I get on Lil Baby and the rest of them. Bro, 21, go 21. I'm a 21, 21, 21 every time. <laughs> If you're climbing to Lil Baby, you would have been all the Lil Babies right back into. Bro, it's like, I, I will never be sick of it. Because I'm listening to this. It's like, this is so 21, but it's it's never asked. I remember. <laughs> That's just what it comes to. <laughs> and they starting to pick up with the samples and shit. He's starting to get harder beats. Hey, man. 21, 21, 21. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, pussy. God. Like, I, for real. Honestly, I'm trying to. I'm trying my best to enjoy 21. But it seems like the same, the same bar over and over and over again. I'll continue to enjoy it. Put him on a block. Spin. <laughs> I, every time. I can damn near predict the bars before he say them. 